Quick, name the longest word in English without a vowel in it. Did you say rhythms? It's literally got a vowel in it. What's wrong with you? But you say, I thought the vowels in English were A-E-I-O-U. You see, the problem here is that you're thinking about vowels orthographically, when in reality, they're phonetic. Take a look at this Arabic word. Reading it from right to left, we've got kaf, which makes a K sound, lam, which makes an L sound, mim, which makes an M sound, and tamarbuta, which makes a T sound. So you would say this word doesn't have any vowels, right? In reality, this word, which is actually the Arabic word for word, is pronounced kalimat. There's definitely some vowels in there. So what gives? Well, the Arabic script has two letters that represent long vowels. Alif and Wow, but the short vowels don't have any representation. They're completely inferred. So that means that a word can look like it doesn't have any vowels, but when it comes to pronunciation, it totally can. Though the same can't happen in English, right? The definition of vowels doesn't actually involve letters at all. In fact, a vowel is just any sound made with an unobstructed vocal tract. In English, we generally use the letters A, E, I, O, U, and Y to represent vowel sounds, but in phonetics, we use all these. My personal favorite, and English's favorite as well, is the schwa. Expect a video on that in the future. Let's take a look at some of the words in the Scrabble Dictionary that are spelled without A, E, I, O, U, or Y, and see if they're actually vowelless. Starting with the two other words, we've got M and SH, both interjections, and as you'll see, interjections make up a lot of the words that don't have any vowels. For three-letter words, we've got kum, which comes from Welsh. As we already know, I don't take the Welsh language seriously, not until they get their W's, Y's, and L's together. In Welsh, W actually represents a vowel sound, hence why this word is pronounced with a vowel. It means a valley. We've also got nth. This is a math term for a specific term in a sequence. So like the nth term of a sequence. This is pronounced with a vowel, alas. We've also got ft. This is an interjection. I have no idea what it means. And we've got z, another interjection. I think you get this one. Both of these do not have vowels. As for four letter words, we've got pst, another interjection. Pones, which means to completely destroy a noob. Though sadly, it is pronounced with a vowel. For five letter words, we've got another Welsh word with kruth. This is an ancient Celtic musical instrument, and as you may remember, the W in Welsh represents a vowel sound. The same can be said for kutch. This one actually means a hug. We've also got girl. It means like a girl boss, as in like riot girl. Sadly, it is pronounced with a vowel. For six letter words, we've got kruths, the plural of kruth, and girls, the plural of girl. And for seven letter, the only bingo playable without any vowels Tis tisks. Knowing these words is actually very useful in Scrabble. You see, Scrabble is a game about coping. Unlike in a game like chess, where your pieces are set from the very beginning, and the only luck is who goes first, in Scrabble, you draw random tiles from the bag, and if they suck, you gotta deal with it. If on your first draw of the game you draw seven consonants, you better hope you know tis tisks. Of course, even worse than the rack of only consonants is the vowel-laden rack. And that's why it's very useful to know the vowel dumps. Words like Q, eerie, meow, that can get a lot of vowels off your rack. But are there any words without any consonants? Well, once again, we run into the same problem between orthography and phonetics. You see, in English, we think of a consonant as any letter that's not a vowel. But in fact, a consonant isn't a letter at all. It's any sound made with an obstruction of the vocal tract. And in the International Phonetic Alphabet, we use these. So, let's take a look at some words with only vowels. Let's start with the first word in the Scrabble Dictionary, ah ah. At first, I was going to go on this whole tirade about how ah ah actually has this rare consonant sound called a glottal stop, where you briefly stop the passage of air through your glottis, a weird sound only present in words like kitten or uh-oh. Turns out I was wrong, though. It's actually just pronounced ah ah. We've also got i, 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 i. O, O, Oi, Oi, and A. We can even have words with only vowels because the letters that would usually represent consonants are silent, like ah, 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 and O. Oh. That's it, right? We're forgetting non-rhotic dialects of English. To 
in Australian, words like air, ah, ear, or don't have consonants either. This leaves us with just one group of sounds, the most cursed group, the glides or the semivowels. In English, these are y, as in you, you, and you, as well as w, as in those words, and wo, wo, and wo. Do these count as consonants? Can we add these words to our list? Argue about it in the comments, as well as if O is even an English word, or if a word is even real, or if my Welsh and Arabic pronunciations were awful, or if my Australian was even worse, or whatever you set your mind to. Have a nice day.